step down, starting, of course, with the Catholic press here, here in France. Flo, uh, Le Croix. Le Croix, that's right. It's the first papal resignation in nearly 600 years, so you can imagine it's their big story. Uh, Le Croix says, Le Pape choisit de s'effacer. And the choice of words is quite interesting because that means the Pope has decided to step down, but s'effacer also means to fade away. And so perhaps Le Croix is trying to allude to the reason why Benedict said that he wants to step down, and that is, of course, his health. He says that he uh, feels too old and frail to continue carrying uh, out his duties. Uh, now, in their editorial, La Croix pays tribute to uh, the Pope Benedict XVI, and it says that his decision, which only comes as a half surprise, really, is proof of how humble he is. And it's a daring move politically, according to La Croix. They call him a loyal service who accomplished his duties uh, despite all the challenges and scandals that have rocked the church in recent years. And Le Figaro, they've also got uh, a bit of a special today dedicating the paper to the Pope. Absolutely. Uh, here he is on the cover waving goodbye there on the, the front page of Le Figaro. They also pay tribute to the Pope in their editorial, pay tribute to his humility, uh, especially for somebody who never really wanted to be Pope, according to Le Figaro. Uh, Le Figaro also looks at the key question now, which is what's going to happen to Benedict XVI now? Uh, now, this has never really happened in modern times, so what happens to a Pope when he quits or retires? Now, Le Figaro points out that laws do exist within the Catholic Church that foresee uh, steps to follow. Uh, interestingly enough, for instance, uh, the Pope doesn't really have to tender his resignation to anybody because the p being that's power, more powerful than <laughs> him is God, so he has yeah. to resign to himself. Sure. Uh, now, he, he'll most likely stay in the religious order, probably become uh, a simple bishop, but the real pickle is protocol. Uh, there's there's no real modern precedent. So, for instance, what will his relationship with the next pope be? Uh, will he take part in official ceremonies? Will he continue to wear white? There are all sorts of questions that have to be answered as they go along. And other papers um, making a little bit uh, lighter of the issue, aren't they? That's right. I pulled out some cartoons. Bro. We're going to take a look at one that's in Aujourd'hui en France. We see a bunch of cardinals saying, uh, well, should we gather up some money for his goodbye party? <laughs> uh, and Libération also has some cardinals that are waving goodbye as they say, uh, stay in touch. I find that one a little bit sad, actually. Um, if you look at the front cover of Liberation today, it's quite amusing as well. Uh, they say, uh, Pepus Interruptus, uh, with a photo of uh, Benedict walking away there in his signature uh, red moccasins. Also, their editorial is quite fr uh, fun today, um, and it's quite a challenge. How good is your Latin steward? <laughs> uh, this is not very good. I know a mass, 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 man, I still remember, but I only did Latin for one year. Well, so. that's pretty impressive. So, <laughs> well, you might want to take the challenge of reading the editorial, and if yeah. not, don't worry, it is translated. <laughs> uh, but uh, they wonder, uh, what does the Pope dream of? Uh, de aliqua repapa cogni. Uh, and they say this is such an unusual job in the 21st century. On the one hand, you preach in Latin. On the other hand, you have a Twitter account. On the one hand, you eat out of gold plates. On the other hand, you're trying to save the world from poverty. So uh, Liberation wonders, is, did uh, Benedict XVI step down for physical weaknesses or for metaphysical weaknesses? Was he just tired of his job, uh, tired of the task in such a modern world? <laughs> We on Google Translate doing that. They they had a translation, didn't they? Cheat. Aujourd'hui en France. Uh, meanwhile, looking at what is next for the Catholic Church, aren't they? That's right. There you see uh, the Pope walking away, and it says, "Who will succeed uh, the Pope?" Uh, because that's another big question. Who will fill his shoes, or rather, his red moccasins? Mm -hmm. Now, according to church authorities, uh, they will have made some sort of decision by Easter. Aujourd'hui en France takes a closer look at the main candidates. There's six main front runners, and it points out that you can actually bet on who. Will will be the next pope uh, on, uh, for instance, British bookmaker uh, Paddy Power, uh, you can bet. Uh, one question is, will the Catholic Church break with tradition by electing an African or a South African pope, mm -hmm. or, or why not even an Asian pope? Uh, Liberation points out that this would certainly jazz things up at the Vatican. Habemus <laughs> Gangnam. Maybe a way to attract <laughs> younger generations there. <laughs> Cartoon of the day there. All right, Florence, thanks very much. Florence with the uh, French newspaper review here on the France Lancaster. Here's those news headlines uh, for you then. The